This is Ubuntu 23.04. First, I was greeted with the all new installer, which sadly did not do the job, but instead ended up showing that installation had failed. I had to reboot the system after which it worked fine. This is a beta software, so no complaints about that. Anyway, the new installer looks much more modern than the previous one, and it is based on Flutter. It basically has all the features of the previous installer, but just in the new look. Next, we have the features of GNOME 44 added to Ubuntu because of the update it inherits all the goodies of GNOME 44. Added feature is the iconic Ubuntu orange tinge. Control panel or the action center, whatever you call, has the new GNOME 44 look. More importantly, it now manages to display more information inside the same space. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and power modes now show a subtext which gives information about the device connected or the mode at which the system is performing. It also has a tethering option where you can share the internet over Bluetooth. If you have noticed, now you can use your keyboard to navigate the quick settings page. Accessibility menu is enabled by default just beside the quick settings, which provides an array of options to choose from. Ubuntu now shows new number cards in accordance with the running applications too. File manager is now smarter and feels much faster. The old list view is back. You can change it from the preference window and fly through the directories in the tree view. You can open a directory in a new tab with a middle click and close the new tab as well with a middle click. Tabs now have new right click menu that helps you access a number of features. You can drag the tab outside in a separate window too. Saving of photos are now easier. You can directly copy and paste an image available online. File chooser now finally comes with a grid view capable of showing the thumbnails of the files you would like to open. The default terminal in Ubuntu is, well, GNOME terminal, which again has the GTK3 look. But you also get the option to install GNOME console from the terminal, which gets integrated into the software quite seamlessly, just like the updated menus in Nautilus, which helps you open GNOME console from the browsing directory itself. Now settings has some changes. Mouse settings has an all new page with videos and animations showing the changes. Like in traditional and natural scrolling, it also has an option for mouse acceleration. You can finally turn it off if you need it to be turned off. Some settings have a small eye button which explains what the setting does or changes just like in this case. Accessibility settings also has some changes like the menus are split up, making them easier to navigate. You have over amplification option under hearing option to toggle accessibility features from the keyboard, testing area for blinking cursor settings and a new settings to make scroll bars always visible under seeing section. The sound page has an overhaul. Volume control has been moved to a separate window. Now you can disable alert sound and even look into a separate window to browse alternative alert sounds. It also has option for over amplification of audio. I guess it was there in the accessibility settings also. It is a reputation here too. Wi-Fi settings will allow you to share Wi-Fi passwords easily using QR codes. About section now includes the firmware and kernel versions. Software takes some time to load first, but I think it is faster in action. It still has the GTK3 look though. I'm unsure of what version it is currently using. And Firefox uses the new snap, so it launches quite slowly for the first time, which is expected, but from the next time, it launches quite fast. Last, we have the new wallpapers, which you can find in the appearance tab of settings. They are vibrant and are themed according to Lunar Lobster. If you would like to get the wallpapers that I used in my video, you can check the link in the description and get access to the entire Orange Magic 8K album along with some new experimental wallpapers by supporting my channel, which goes a long way in paying for content that I make and also for my college where I am pursuing multimedia to make better content for you. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.